today is going to be the start of me redoing part of my Lego Zoo. It's way too compact, I feel like. I want to shrink down the alligator exhibit and put it in with the lion exhibit, kind of. And then I want to add an otter and a monkey exhibit over there. There kind of already is a monkey exhibit, but I just want to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to take out the animals over right here. The alligators and the lion and stuff. And then I'm going to begin taking the like, stuff down. I can begin So, I'm going to go ahead and work on tearing it down. So, so I just destroyed everything. And I built up the frame of the entire exhibit for the alligators and lions and parrots and stuff. So, I think that I'm going to put like a log in the water area back there. And then the alligator will hang out right there. I removed the mountain, but I'm about to reinstall it. But I just need to attach some things with studs and stuff. So, and then I don't know what I want to do with this because I know it's easy to be detached and reattached. And I use it for seasonal stuff, but I feel like I need to build some new stuff because that's for spring. But I don't have anything in the fall or summer. So I got the snow here for the winter. But yeah. What's your choice? So I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll see you back in the end of the So I just now finished piling down the sides right there to make it real smooth. And then I also have the pond which is completely smoothed out. And then back there I have a little area that's studded on the side. So I can put this log from a really old set from City. I think I might remove that little side area because it makes it look kind of weird and there's nothing there. So I may remove that later. So I think I'm gonna go, go ahead and tie it down to make sure that there's no white left to make it look more like the other exhibit. So, so I just it. finished tiling off the area where the alligator will be, the down area. So I added in the log and the alligator. I tied it in. It looks great. It looks so smooth and stuff. This is probably, the zoo is now looking better than ever. So I'm giving a go ahead and try to tie it off the mountain. I hope I have enough pieces that's what's left and that I have a few others and I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna look for those pieces and then finish tying them off. So they look good. I'll see you. When I the the Went ahead and tied off the top of the line exhibit. And now, and then I also added a little tree up there. And then there's a little bush by the line. All of the stuff in the line exhibit and the alligator exhibit is completely tiled. And then I have the little area off to the side where part of the thing used to be. So I took out all those white plates there so I can build something there if you try. I think a little slushy place would be cool so I can have a competing board with ice cream place because they had two of those trucks or whatever. I think the next step to building this is so I can tear down the old monkey exhibit and salvage anything left. So I think we can go ahead and do that. So I'll see you again when I have something. So I just show. now destroyed the old monkey exhibit. So now ne next time when we redo the zoo area, I can begin working on there. So it's all clean and ready. And then I found this thing which I just put right there by the first thing. So I have the old and the new Lego pirate thing for the pirate type. Both the old one and the new one. I got the new one off Pirates of Earth for the day. They are doing a work thing for the online, which I got that from and stuff. So I thought. That's before I show you. I'm gonna probably continue working on this on my own throughout the next few months. But I'll probably make a video or two about it until then. So, I'll see you then. And this is the end of the episode. I'm sure it's a fun builders. Bye.